。二零二一年第二条题目系有关于神经系统嘅，下面呢幅图啦就显示咗两个双轮嘅神经元啦。当神经脉冲去到构造 set 嘅时候咧，喺位置一嘅神经递质 W 嘅份量咧就会增加啦。咁你睇返呢幅圖啦，我哋又有呢個 terminal X、Y 啊，有 Z 啊，有 W 啊，咁當然啦，有返一個好嘅習慣啊嘛，係咪？咁嗱，咁 W 呢俾咗你㗎啦，就係、是、神經遞質啦。咁啊 ，X、Y 呢，其實都係講緊神經元嘅末端啦，係咪？都係有，亦即係起碼係神經纖維嘅部分啦，係咪？就只係爭在佢 a s h o n 族特啊，定係 d e n d r o n 樹特啦。咁啊，構造 set 就更加簡單啦，就係、是、兩個神經元之間嘅呢個 gap 位，正正就係 part A 問你嘅嘢啦。其實就係我哋嘅 synapse 特足啦。咁啊，解決咗好咯，非常之直接了當嘅題目啦。我哋直接落 B 咯。B 一 part 咧就講啦，喺位置一嘅神經遞質 W 係從構造 set 嘅其中一個末端，一係就 X， 一係就 Y 咧，去釋放出嚟嘅。啊，咁究竟啦，係邊一個末端去釋放神經遞質 W 嘅呢？咁呢個題目呢，其實就係考返我哋有關於呢唔同神經元嘅特質啊。咁今次呢，我就係抽返呢個感覺神經元啦，同埋呢個運動神經元俾大家睇嘅。咁當我哋要分辨唔同類型嘅神經元啦，可以用咩嘅特質呢？例如啦，個細胞體嘅形狀啦、樹突同埋軸突嘅長度啦，同埋神經脈衝傳遞嘅方向嘅。嗱，咁今次呢条题目呢，其实就係传递方向，正正就係问緊你啊嘛。然后啦，就去到个細胞体咯 ，cell body 嗰个形状呢，两个都画到一样样嘅，好似粒星星嘅。咁你话，诶、哎，两粒都系星星，咁咪即係两个都系运动神经得到嘅。咁即係话啦，我哋就要靠返个神经纤维啦、竖突啦同埋轴突啦嘅长度去理解咯。嗱，根据返书本概念呢，感觉神经元呢，就係一个长嘅竖突同埋一个短嘅轴突。而運動神經元呢，就係一個非常之短嘅樹突，同埋一個好長嘅軸突。咁你望到呢兩個神經元，係嘛？喺個細胞體呢，就有呢啲咁樣嘅細細條啦，係嘛？跟住啦，就楞住條好長嘅。咁其實啦，根據返呢兩個神經元嘅樣子，再加埋頭先我哋講啦，樹突同埋軸突嘅長度嘅話呢，其實佢哋都係似係運動神經元嘅。嗱，我唔係淨係誇者呢個啊，其實兩個都係啊，其實兩個都好似樣嘅。真係唔覺眼似呢個感覺神經元，唔緊動神經元搏住嘅就係反應器，即係例如肌肉㗎啦嘛，係咪？咁我哋都唔理呢一樣嘢，我淨係想理下，如果佢真係一個運動神經元，佢真係一個短嘅樹突嘅時候，咁即係呢邊就係接收神經遞質啦，係咪？咁所以啦，呢、這個咁長嘅部分呢。應該就似係 action 啦，咁所以咧最似嘅運送方向呢，就係由 x 去 y 啦。你話唔明啊？我唔知你講乜嘢啊？唔緊要，睇返呢邊先。呢一邊呢，就係我哋個 spinal cord 咧個脊髓啊，嗰、那個神經元嘅配置咯。咁我如果你真係覺得唔係咧，兩 Sir 由感覺神經元呢，傳送神經脈衝去到運動神經元啦，嗱我就當唔理呢個中間嘅結合嘅神經元啦，我唔理佢。即係因為我哋嘅 n i t r o r e f l e x 咧失弱反應呢係冇咗呢個 inter neuron 㗎嘛，係咪？我就當兜嘢由 sensory neuron 就博去 motor neuron 啦。你望一望個樣先。嗱，如果我真係反轉嚟行嘅，一個好長嘅神經纖維，跟住去到細胞體，跟住呢，我就當佢呢好似一個感覺神經元啦。哦，長嘅 dendron， 短嘅 action， 誒，跟住就去邊啊？去運動神經元啊嘛，揾當個神經遞質去到個 dendron。嘅时候，佢就即刻会去到細胞体㗎喇！因为运动神经元呢，佢个树大系非常之细，接就已经去到 cell body， 然后再楞住一个好长嘅 action。睇返呢幅图，佢真係唔啱样啊嘛，系逻辑都错啊嘛，系咪？即係我哋能够撇除咗个神经脉冲系由左边去右边嘅呢个选项啦，咁自不然一定系由右去左，就系、是、x 去 y 咯。然後到第二 part 啦，就係一個好直接嘅問題啦。描述下喺位置一嘅神經遞質 W 係點樣導致到神經脈衝喺構造 set 呢？係得以傳遞嘅。咁呢條題目呢，就係考返我哋透過一個特足點樣去傳遞神經脈衝啦。咁其實我哋過往呢都有題目考過啦，就係二零一五年嘅題目啦。咁啊當中啦有啲咩嘅概念大家要留意返呢？喺位置一嘅神經遞質 W 呢，就能夠擴散去到末端 Y 嘅膜，即、就、係、是、個細胞膜啦。而神經遞質 W 咧就會刺激到末端 Y 嘅細胞膜，或者同末端 Y 嘅細胞膜上面嘅受體咧做個結合，從而產生一個神經脈衝嘅。跟住啦，就去到 Part C 咯。咁喺 Part B 所描述嘅過程啦。
，對神經脈衝嘅傳遞有咩重要性呢？咁呢個題目啦，自不然就係考翻我哋有關於特足嘅重要性啦。咁特足嘅重要性其實就有兩個嘅。一個呢，就係確保到神經脈衝係向住單一方向去傳遞；第二個呢，就係容許到一個神經元係同其他嘅神經元呢去做個溝通嘅。咁今次我係咪其中答一個就得啦？兩常唔係啊，因為題目係講到明係喺 Part B 所提及嘅過程，而喺 Part B 所提及嘅過程呢，係講緊個神經遞質 W 呢，係要經由末端 Y 所去釋放出嚟。從而去刺激返喺末端 Y 上面嘅受體嘅，所以今次嘅答案呢，只有一個啦，就係、是、確保神經傳遞呢，只係沿住一個方向去傳送啦。好，跟住啦就到一點出發咯。今次嘅題目呢，就特足呢，就去開始嘅，當中啦就可以考返我哋有關於感覺神經元啦，同埋運動神經元啦。而佢哋各自啦，愣住呢，就係感受器同埋反應器啦。咁呢個基本概念呢，大家一定要識㗎啦。跟住啦就係運動神經元搏住反應器呢，其實中間都唔係直接連接住㗎嘛。中間咧都係有 gap 位，咁呢個 gap 位呢，我哋就唔叫 synapse， 就叫做神經肌肉接點 （neuromuscular junction） 啦。然後題目考我哋嘅就係神經遞質喺呢個突觸入面嘅功能啦。究竟當中啦，點樣喺神經元之間傳遞到神經脈衝呢？個機制係如何呢？今次呢條題目呢，特別要考我哋嘅就係有關於喺個末端 Y 啊，佢個細胞膜上面呢，都有啲受體，而啲受體呢，其實係啲蛋白嚟嘅，就係、是、考返我哋有關於膜蛋白嘅。概念啦，呢条题目啦有啲咩嘅变奏呢？佢都可以问翻我哋有关于啦，一个神经元有啲咩嘅组成部分呢？又或者啦，要我哋分得清翻三款类型嘅神经元啦。咁其实过往咧都有好多题目咧去考我哋有关于神经元嘅构造啦，同埋神经脉冲点样传递嘅。二零一二年嘅呢条 M C 咧，你又试下答唔答得啱？又睇翻呢段片温一温书咯。Two two one question two is about nervous system. This diagram shows two adjacent neurons. When the nerve impulse arrived at structure set, the amount of the neurotransmitter W at location one increases. You can see from this diagram terminal A, Y, and then structure set. So you can see that we have the good practice for the labeling. And for part A, and for part A, it really asks you to name the structure set. So we need to identify the junction in between the two neurons. Which is the synapse, and then for part B one, neurotransmitter W at location one is released from one of the terminals of structure cells. Which terminal X or Y release a neurotransmitter W? The terminal X or Y, they are either axon terminal or the dendron. Therefore, we need to clarify the direction of the nerve impulse transmission. In this question, we need to recall the features of different neurons. At this part, I just cut out the some. At this part, I just cut out the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. And then any features can help us to distinguish them. For example, the shape of the cell bodies, the length of the axon and dendron, and the direction of the transmission of nerve impulse. So you can see that for the shape of cell body. Uh, the question may intentionally uh, draw them like the same. Therefore, we cannot distinguish them by using the shape of the cell body. And then the direction of the transmission of nerve impulse, we do not have idea at this moment. That we cannot use these two pieces of information. And then we can compare the length of the nerve fibers, axon and dendron. For the sensory neuron, they have a long dendron and short axon. And for motor neuron, they have a very short dendrons and long dendrons. By using these two pieces of information, we can say that these two neurons are most likely the motor neurons. Therefore, we take a look at this diagram for the spinal cord. We have the sensory neuron, interneuron, and the motor neuron. And then we recall the knee jerk reflex. Because in the knee jerk reflex, there is no interneuron. Therefore, the nerve impulse will be transmitted from the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. There is a nerve impulse transmitted from the axon of the sensory neuron. It will be received by the very short dendrons of the motor neuron and directly go to the cell body. And then there will be a long axon. So from this idea, we can see that we have a long axon and then go to the very short dendron and then go to cell body and then have a long axon again. So it seems like that 
the neuron on the right hand side it is the sensory neuron at least you can see that there is a long action transmitting the nerve impulse towards the short dendron of the motor neuron no matter what this motor neuron there is a very short dendron and it will receive it will receive the neurotransmitter from this adjacent neuron therefore the answer is terminal x and then for part two describe how the neurotransmitter w at location one can bring about the transmission of the nerve impulse as structure said this question is very straightforward it asks us to recall the nerve impulse transmission across the synapse just like the 2015 question we need to talk about the neurotransmitter w at location one diffuses to the membrane of the terminal y and then the neurotransmitter w stimulates the membrane at terminal y or binds to the receptor on the membrane of the terminal y to initiate the nerve impulse and then for part c what is the significance of the process in part b to transmission of the nerve impulse so we need to recall the importance of the synapse and actually there are two importance of the synapse to ensure the nerve impulse travel in one direction only and the synapse also allows a neuron to communicate with many other neurons however we can only pick up one of them as the answer because for the process in part b because the process in part b it says that the neurotransmitter w is released by the terminal x but not by y therefore this ensure the neurotransmission takes place in one direction only now let's talk about the curriculum mapping this question starts from the synapse and then it checks you the concept about the sensory neuron and the motor neuron and for the sensory neuron and motor neuron we need to know that what are they connected to receptor and the effector and for the motor neuron connected to the effector there is also a gap between them because the motor neurons and the effector they are not connected directly and this gap we do not call it synapse we call it neuromuscular junction and then the question checks us the mechanism of the transmission of the neurotransmitter particularly for the membrane protein on the terminal y to receive the neurotransmitter therefore it also checks you the concept of the cell membrane any possible question variation for example what does a neuron consist of distinguish all three types of neurons the location of the cell body the length of the action and dendron and then the shape of the cell body a lot a lot and then in the past there are a lot of questions talking about the nervous system or the neuron or even the membrane protein just like the 2012 mc question so watch all the video for the revision